Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Washo. We uh, just got done running some fuel this morning. Made, well, if I'm being honest, the price was so good at the bunker that we ended up making two extra runs up there. So that's why we got some money now. Um, and our fields are full of weeds. Every field is fully fertilized. Every field is 100% weeds. So... Uh, looks like the spraying rig is our ride for the day, uh, at least for now. I expect it will take a while. Um, first, we need to go get some herbicide, though. So I dropped the uh, trailer off at the store last night and had Farmer Bob, he said he would take care of getting it loaded for us. So we bought six pallets of herbicide, uh, six big old tanks. And we're going to bring them back here and put them in these tanks right here to my left. So we'll put them in storage, that way we'll have them here when we need them. And I imagine we may even go through all of those doing our fields. We got quite a bit of field space now, so. Um, yeah. We'll go get that, get that started. Uh, let's see. Fuel truck is full of fuel, but it is parked down here by the pressure washer. We need to clean the old dog off. Get a dirty dog and that's no good. Uh, you can see field four behind me there. Looks like a herb garden over there. What is that? Uh, shampoo? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Herbal essences? Yeah, that's one of those. Looks like the cover of one of those bottles. Anyways, we'll get them all fixed up there. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see it for a second. I about hit the pole and, yeah, went all cross-eyed. Look at there. It's all loaded up looking good. I don't, I think, yeah, the only problem with this trailer is there's no straps on it, but we'll just have to drive respectable, right, drive like we got some sense, yeah, that's not, I hear you, that's not gonna work, is it, I understand, maybe we could get somebody else to drive it back for us, where's John when you need him, oh, goodness. we just pull up, act respectable, and instantly pull out in front of a car, Sorry. Right. Sorry. Oh, yeah, we're cutting you off, too. Like, everybody knew that was going to happen right there. Whoa. Whoa, not the sign. Oh, so close. All right, we got a couple hanging on back there. I think the only respectable thing to do is speed up, you know? If they're going to fall off, we got to get them as close as we can before they do, right? Something like that. I wonder if these will unload from the trailer. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see, can we sneak through there? Yeah, I think so. Get through there without knocking anything off. Yeah, come on. That would be great if these things started unloading. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, does it? Alright, well. You win some, you lose some, right? What you gonna do? Alright, we'll cut that off, leave that there. I think I have a little bit of herbicide in storage already. Let's see if we have enough to get field number four done. Let's go ahead and get something done. Uh, I need to go get the skid steer, bring it down, get the trailer unloaded, get everything put in the tanks there. Yeah, you know what I can do? We can fill up these tanks from right here, can't we? I didn't even think about that. Let's fill up the front one. 1500 liters. Let's see what we got in storage here. I think it was 1300 maybe. Uh. Maybe I did fill the. Yeah. No, that wants me to unload it. I don't want to unload it. There we go. Start. I don't understand. Start. Maybe I'm not far enough in. Right, let me turn the help window on here. This isn't working. Start filling. Herbicide. Start. It doesn't start. There's no starting. <laughs> All right. That's. <laughs> that's just silly. Now it's just messing with me now. Alright, I guess maybe we'll have to do it one tank at a time when we go to 
fill up from the storage tanks there. That's funny. I think because the front tank was already full that it wasn't going to register as needing another one. Eh, let's see. I'm going to start here. Let's start here. We're already right here. Let's get rid of some of these weeds. Let's get rid of that box, too. I can't stand that thing up there. One thing about this 21 meters, it shouldn't take too long to do these fields. Eventually, we'll have enough money to buy us a boom sprayer. Man, that would be cool, wouldn't it? One of those big 40 meter jobs. Holds like 6,000 liters. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's start shopping around, see if we can get one of those. Won't be long. We'll be rolling in the cash. We won't know what to do with it. That's what we tell ourselves at night anyways. That's uh, how we how we go to sleep, so... Yeah. All right. Look at us. Getting work done. Breakneck speed of seven miles an hour. Yeah, life is good. Let's see what we got. We got to do this today. I uh, don't think anything will be ready to harvest. We can go sell some eggs. We have almost two full pallets, so... We'll have to check on some egg prices. Maybe we can... Get rid of those, make a little money. And let's see, we've already run our diesel for the day. I can go make a water run. We could go um, fill up the old restaurant down there. That's about 15 grand a pop right there. That's not bad. Pretty good money. Make sure we don't miss any there. We're just on the edge of those weeds, aren't we? There we go. All right. Not too bad. This happened overnight, though, so uh, I did one of the fuel runs. We made $51,000 profit, so we spent forty five dollars on a weeder. And, of course, you know us. We got the biggest weeder you can get. And went to sleep, woke up, and they're too far gone to, to weed. They're too far grown, so didn't get to use it. Brand new weeder sitting in the shed. My old weeder's getting dust on it. That's no good. I don't like it. I don't care for this at all. But, eh, what you gonna do? That's part of it, I guess. We just have to stay up all night and use our weeder, right? That's what happens. You, you go to bed early and you, your weeder doesn't get used. Huh. Words to live by. Alright. Well, enough of that nonsense. Let me go. I'm gonna knock this field out. I am gonna go ahead and... I'll hit at least a couple others and see how far along we make it. And then we'll go do something else. We'll get the trailer unloaded and sell some eggs today. So, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Well, the price of eggs is over $4,000. And that's the highest price I've maybe ever seen um, playing on normal economic difficulty. I actually had to go check to make sure it was still on normal. I thought it, I had I'd accidentally switched it over to easy, but... No, it's still on normal, so... Hey, we're gonna go sell them bad boys for $4,000, right? Um... Let's see. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these down here. We're gonna drop them off. We're going to unload the herbicide, put it in storage. Maybe wash our bulldog off since we're here and I'm staring at it right now. <laughs> that's about the only way I'll remember it, so when I'm looking at it. And uh, then we'll, we'll take these eggs and we will throw them on the trailer and run them to the dairy factory, so... Uh, as a matter of fact, I have another half pallet of eggs up there. I may go ahead and sell that too. We may as well have two empty ones that way. When the third one gets full, we can go ahead and sell it too. And not, uh... yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and grab the other one. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll take the skid steer on the trailer too. Throw them both up there and pinch the pallets on. Maybe we'll see. Uh oh, dragon. All right, so this is not going to be pretty, I assume. Knowing how good we are with the uh, pallet physics. Anyways, and then trying to get the forks down. 
I have to ask old Mr. Bob there how he got these things on there. <laughs> All right, maybe we can grab one from the side. I uh, hope I don't have to go get a set of front loader arms and forks for the case. That uh, that would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? You know what I could do? I could just get the spray rig and bring it over and just keep filling up that front tank and going over and emptying it out. Yeah, let's do that. Tell you what. Let's throw that truck around there just to show it who's boss. Take that truck. Alright, now let me get out of the weeds here. I wonder if when we hit the straps in the back, that strap is behind the fifth wheel plate. I wonder if it'll hold that pallet of eggs on there. Maybe we can go ahead and sell those without uh, not waiting on the trailer to get emptied. Has completed their task. All right. That means the weeds in field number 16 are done. So I did fields nine and four real quick. I have Mr. John in town. Mr. John Cox came in for a visit and he is over there on field number 16 in the case. And I was wrong about uh, the consumption rate on herbicide. Man, we have done three fields, and the last time I checked on him, he still had about 60% left. That strap doesn't quite cover it, does it? I don't know if this is going to work or not. This may be a really bad idea. Do a couple of donuts. Well, didn't fall off, and we only got to really go across the street over there. What were we saying earlier? Something about being respectable? Eh, I don't know. Doesn't sound right, does it? I don't know. That strap doesn't visually go around it, but it seems to be pretty snugly on there, so maybe this will work. Who knows, right? We gotta figure something out. Hmm. Definitely need to slow down for that. Because if we sling that thing across the road right here, we're in big trouble. Well, Trouble in the sense that we have to go all the way back to the farm, get this kid steer, drive it all the way out here at 12 miles an hour. That kind of trouble. Uh, let's see, where am I going? I'm going to the dairy factory, which is beside the BGA, which is somewhere around here. There it is. All right. Up the hill without dumping these things off, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, I think they're strapped in there. They're pretty snug. They haven't wiggled or anything, given any indication that they were trying to come out of there. And I guess we'll hope this works, or I'm going to have to go inside and talk to somebody about unloading this thing. I didn't think about that either. I'm not a very good planner today, am I? Come on, eggs. No such luck. Ooh, what's that? Yeah. Look, okay, it did it. When they're on the tailgate, ha, they were selling. That's cool. Oh my, 9000 almost $10,000. Now let's see. I can push this up against the wall. I can slide that pallet bag on there. In theory, that didn't work, did it? There it goes. Yeah, I think it's on there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. Well, it's a fairly efficient way of getting the eggs up here. At least we got them sold. Uh, once they hit the tailgate, they'll sell by themselves, and we didn't actually have to put the pallet on the ground, so that's a good deal. And at $10,000, we are making some egg money here. I like it. That's my kind of chickens. I'm digging it. All right. Well, yeah. Let's go. I guess I'll grab the other half pallet. I'll go ahead and make that run, get those sold. Oh, goodness. I thought that was the road and I was going to cut everybody off. That's only the... <laughs> Oops. That's only the store parking lot. Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Playing through. Sorry. 
Anyways, all right, now, whatever I was going to say, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, we got the other pallet over there emptied out, but we made uh, not quite $5,000 off of that half pallet, or just under half a pallet. So, I mean, we're looking at $15,000 worth of eggs sold today. That is just a phenomenal number. I'm thrilled with that number. It's way bigger than I thought. We also noticed, uh, pulled the truck over near the pigs, check on the bacon over there. We made two more little bacons last night. And we're up over a thousand liters of manure. So, I want to see if I can scoop that up. And I don't know how the trigger works for our new manure facility, or I'm sorry, fertilizer facility over here. But in theory, we can take this manure, put it in that little factory over there. And these little scientist type dudes inside can turn that. I don't understand what is happening here. Yeah, those little scientist dudes can turn that into fertilizer. So let's see what happens. We may just make a mess. We might just make a pile of manure on the ground and be stuck with it. So, all right, I don't know what's going to happen. Our new facility over here, we stuck it out of the way. I may end up moving those two right there. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it works out. Let's see. I wonder if this will just dump in there. And it certainly is dumping in there. Doesn't appear to be stocking up. Yeah, oh, great. <laughs> I think it's done, anyways. I hope so. Me and Alien Jim were talking the other day that he uh, has made it a habit to jump in the air before he enters a vehicle, so he doesn't do that thing right there that I just did. Hey, it did go in there. It's already made. Oh goodness, it's already made 500 liters of fertilizer and 500 more to go so I mean it looks like it's a pretty fair number of what you get in is what you're gonna get out but hey if it's all free anyways right that is phenomenal and I also noticed well there's our diesel we haven't done anything with that yet uh, other than the initial 2,000 liters that we made and we also made the pig food that is feeding the pigs as we speak but this I noticed this when I drove by here that bottom S word is seeds. We have almost 35,000 liters of seed now. That is incredible. We might not, yeah, I don't, we're not going to have to buy seed anymore. I'm certain of it. So that part of the circle is coming true. I like it. It is doing its part. Might as well clean these little piggies up while we're at it. But yeah, so we have now made ourselves enough seed to at least do in next year's planting. Because I didn't buy 35,000 liters worth this year, so I know that'll be enough. And we're also making fertilizer from our bacon here. So not only can we plant our fields next year, we're going to be able to fertilize them for free. So we're going to take those seeds, we're going to plant canola, we're going to fertilize that canola, we're going to take the canola and make diesel, and we're going to sell the diesel and make lots and lots of cash. Man, this is a great farm. I like it here. This is all coming together, buddy. I like it. So, now all we gotta do is hurry up and wait. I guess the uh, canola is growing. And not a lot else is gonna happen until then. Uh, I'm gonna continue selling fuel and water. And, yeah, we're gonna have to start paying off our million dollar loan that we have. So, we got a lot of work to do still. Just because it's all coming together. Doesn't really mean anything, but that's all right. Let me, hmm, let me take the truck back down and park it. And I may end the day on a water run. We don't have much else to do this afternoon. Well, it's actually, it's only in the morning. Oh, we're going to have to find something to do. My goodness. A little too early to call it a day, isn't it? I don't want to run any more fuel. That would be, oh, I know what we can do. We can do contracts this afternoon. I saw a cultivating contract for field number two that paid almost eleven thousand dollars. 
So, Mr. John is in town, and he is just about finished up doing his herbicide application over there. Let's see, I'll go ahead and park over here. Nah, we're going to have to put the trailer up sooner or later. May as well get back on the trailer, right? There we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. We'll have to get, uh, when Mr. Joe gets down here, we'll get the tanks and get that all unloaded and put away. But, yeah, look at that. We got her all shined up. She is looking good, buddy. So let's take this. The fuel tank is full. We're going to drop this off in storage waiting on tomorrow morning when we'll go sell again. And we'll pick up the water trailer. Let's go make a water run to the restaurant down there. And, yeah. What's wrong with $15,000 more dollars in the bank, right? Now, I think before I start making a bank uh, payment, of course, there's always something, right? I am going to invest in another tractor. We just having the one case plus the one big boy over there. Um doesn't really give us enough uh, I mean I can't really spread herbicide with the big 8440 over there I suppose I could but that would just be ludicrous wouldn't it that would be silly so we need something a little smaller I haven't quite decided whether I'm gonna go smaller than the case we have or if I'll make the case the small yard tractor and go with something more in the 300 horsepower range but yeah I think that's what we're saving money for now. We got most everything else we need. Just need a little creature comfort stuff around the farm now. Hey look, we already got some water in there. How about that? Perfect. Uh, maybe I can drop this off with the pigs on the way through. At the very least, I'll put it in our water silo down at the bottom of the hill. That way, we'll have it for the pigs. It's not very much, but they may as well have it, right? And they only took 1,200. All right. Or, I'm sorry, they only took 600. We we still have 1,200. All right. Well, cool. There you go. Simple as that. I could. I tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try to do this efficiently. I am going to take a trailer full of water to the restaurant and sell it. Then when I leave the restaurant, I'll be closer to the water oasis down there. And I'll just run the trailer down and fill it up and bring it back and put it in our storage here. That way we won't have to make an extra trip uh, making the whole run all the way to from the water back to here. You know, from here to the water and back. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, wait. I saw that somebody completed their task and I thought my tank was full. I went to take off. We're only 43%. Get a little excited there. Get a little carried away. All right. Well, yeah, I think that was all right for this morning. I think we'll call it right there. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.